is is that you don't actually um, have to wait long for the parts to arrive because it comes from DHL Express. Now, before I forget, this part of my commute every day is where the wind comes across the river here on the left and it usually pushes me about, but it's no different to when I do and don't have wheel covers on. So yeah, it's really good. And the aero on the bike, um, honestly, whoever you've got the front engine guard and the side engine covers on or not, you don't feel any difference at all. So you really only do this if you're wanting to make the bike look a lot better. So for me, I've always thought that that gap in front of the radiator, uh, behind the front wheel, is just so big and just pretty ugly looking from the factory. And when you put the case speed front cover on, it's way, way better. Max gives a menacing look, etc. Um, yeah, not that I had any wind drag from the OEM mirrors, but putting these lane splitter mirrors on the end of the bars just, um, just completes that look. It makes it look really good. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I'm stopped right now. Um, there's no concerns at all with temperature. So the front engine cover basically goes around the radiator and if anything, it um, um, continues to, to cool efficiently. So I've never had any um, check engine lights on the cluster or any codes thrown. Um, I've just done typical wiring mods like everyone does for indicators. Um, yeah, so what I do find is that other, a lot of other bikes, um, even though this is a, a low and light um, cruiser slash commuter bike, because they've got more capacity, when they go to take off, they can take off really quite quickly. Um, so I've been riding this bike now since September, and even if you go to, to gun it from the line, it just doesn't have that initial low down. Alright guys, so I'm just going to cut it now because I'm uh, about to arrive at work, but what I'm going to do 